ذره ها رقص کنند آن کس که از او چرخ و هوا رقص کنند جان ها ز خوشی بی سر و پا رقص کنند در گوش تو گویم که کجا رقص کنند ذره که در هوا و در همون است نیکونه گرش که هم چما مفتون است هر ذره اگر خوش است اگر محزون است سرگشته خوشیده خوش I remember my, my uh, you know, my stepfather, you know, would beat me and he, you know, he would beat me with extension cords and, and, and hangers and, you know, pieces of wood and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, after every beating, he would tell me, you know, it hurt me more than it hurt you. And, you know, I only did it because I love you. It was kind of, you know, it communicated the wrong message to me about what love was. So for many years, you know, I thought that love was supposed to hurt. And um, I hurt everyone that I love. And I measured love by how much pain someone would take from me. Um, and it wasn't until I came to prison in an environment that is devoid of love that I began to have some sort of understanding about what it actually was and was not. And I met someone, uh, and she gave me my first real insight into what love was because she saw past my conditions. And the fact that I was in prison with a life sentence for murder, not, and not only for murder, but for doing the worst kind of murder that a man can do, murdering a woman and a child. And it was Agnes, the mother and grandmother of Patricia and Chris, the woman and child that I murdered, who gave me my best lesson about love, because by all rights, she should hate me. But she didn't. And over the course of time and through the journey that we took, <laughs> that's been pretty amazing. She gave me love and <clears throat> She taught me what it was.
ate rumbula jia ro koro tenga, kunwa maere, kupa no wenya jiu kuhu jimpa kuput jimpa nuni jimu na eki na hina mbana mbata rambu na hina, ya ro ro kunwa no kujumbu la jinga ro koji mi chate ro ana wanjo jimi no maere jimi ya ro jimi ri bi kuria bi hembi mi hepa mbi hepa, no kura kumu la ndung mbas vere ngu me ji chate ro na wa, ngu ma hongi ro yinu wa, o kujumbu a na jinji ri mo jiu anja hoto jinji no koro ake ra po jinji no kumu no mbepe ra jinji no kumu no ekweke. Oh, kerja mih awak ini nampin cinta terom menyolim jepu om jep. Suka mera kat dia. Kita ni aki, bujangan milik, panch kata khet milik. Orang bawa ke rumah, kami ada ni aki, suka kerja ni aki tan light rahit. Aman dah, kami suka tan ni lah. तो अपने हमारे दिन तक सुख मिल ली, जमीन के अंदर सुता लाता, हमारे घर में बिछाना नहीं के, पूरा पर सुता तन जा, हम लाइट रहे, तो न उजियार रहे, तो हमरो बाल बचा उजियार रहे। अल्लाह, जिकम है जब पासे इन एन्फ्रेंस डिफिसिल इसान जार्जां, जे सी आरिवे अ लिनिवर्सिटे, जे यू मे प्रीमियर बुर्स इंस्टॉलेशन et je suis allé payer une moto toute neuve. J'étais la première personne à la mettre en marche. J'étais la première personne à monter dessus pour arriver à la maison. Ce moment où je sens le vent me taper quand je circule, le fait de savoir que je ne suis pas derrière la moto d'une tierce personne, c'est ma moto à moi. Ah. Je suis arrivé à la maison. Et pour dormir la nuit, j'ai mis la moto dans ma chambre et j'ai enfermé avec moi. Comme ça, je peux sentir l'odeur du moteur chaud, là. Voilà, l'odeur du moteur, l'odeur du neuf. Et quand j'allume la lumière la nuit, je vois que ça, c'est ma moto à moi. Franchement, c'est parce que je ne pouvais pas mettre la moto sur le lit, de, dans, sous ma couverture. C'est ça que j'aurais fait. Oui, là, là, là j'ai eu. Oui. Ça, c'était un moment très, très, très heureux pour moi. Счастье, счастье, когда дети любят возвращаться в твой дом. Это как мое материнское счастье. Счастье, когда муж заходит, улыбается, поцелует в щечку спустя 33 года замужества. Это тоже счастье, но счастье уже женское. Счастье, когда внуки бегут навстречу и своим ангельским голосом кричат «Бабочка!» Вот именно когда бабочки кричат, а не бабушка, когда повзрослеет. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда на работу приходишь в коллектив, и тебя встречают. Встречают и радуются, что вот пришла, значит, можно пообщаться. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда утром встаешь, и у тебя нету боли с букетом болезней. Это тоже счастье. Счастье, когда дождик идет, значит, урожай будет. Счастье много, и в то же время оно одно. Живешь, значит, счастлив. Just my experiences from being in a wheelchair and traveling the world in a wheelchair, I've seen life from a different angle, and that's taught me on a spiritual level to just accept and to be happy with whatever's coming next. I'm so mentally strong, and the only reason that has come is because of losing my legs physically. You know, my eyesight's sharper, my ears are, I can hear much better. So that's on a physical sense, but I feel I'm lucky as in, I don't analyze or question life too much. I can, I can cruise through life and, and always be in the right place at the right time. I always have amazing things happen to me. I'm, I'm really lucky in that situation. But that comes from believing in, in luck or believing in the power of attraction or believing in, in, in attracting the goodness into one's life. And I think that can be seen as luck. Um, so if God himself jumped down in front of me right now and said to me, Bruno, I'll give you back your legs, but I'll take away all that you've learned over the last 13 years. I'll tell God, keep your legs.
Gabiru Ningeo, Kaluka Bochala, Irakoda, Sine Ning Manaku, Kizinel, Kin Alusha, Joko Missy Dorena, a man lagging, a bear of Kalajan and Kundi, because Lucia Rezazu, Nare Kunumutat, Rehido Hirina Gazingo, Rehidin Gudaka Rungon, Rehina Gazingo, Hiran Razanaki Joe to Manga Ning. Man, no man. حتى من أول لحظة حملت فيها الإسلاح كان في نوع من أنواع الخوف الخوف موجود عند كل البشر وخايف كمان اني اشيل دم او كذا وهيك او انه شيلت السلاح انا صرت ب يعني من معلم مدرسه الى مسلح بس في شيء اجبرني يعني في في مناظر او امور اجبرتني لما احيانا بسالني انه يعني احيانا تخطر ببال افكار انه بابا ليش الحرب هاي كلها ما بدها تنتهي؟ انه بابا ليش انت مثلا تقتل العسكري؟ العسكري ما عنده اب وام عم يستنوه وعم ننتظره مثلنا يعني بابا بقول له ايه مزبوط الكلام بابا كان ليش بابا بقول له بابا لانه هو على خطا واحنا على صح طيب ليش هو على خطا إيه بابا هو على خطا هو عم يقتل اطفال عم يقتل عائلات عم ي... عم يدنس المساجد عم يقصر المساجد يا بابا احنا عم ندافع عن الشيء هذا فاحنا بنحاول دائما الاطفال نبين لهم كل الامور هاي يعني انه صحيحنا حملت سلاح بس حملته في شغلات اجبرتني على حمله ولا مو حب انه ارتكب انه احمل دم ب ب على رقبتي مدى الحياه واحس بذنب انه انا قتلت انسان، لا ما حد بيحب يقتل انسان او يلوث ايديه بالدماء. ما بخافش من الموت انا بخافش من الموت بس لاجل سوريا. بخافش من الموت لاجل ابوي وها لو انه ما بوفاش ابوي كان بخاف من الموت. ما ما بخافش من الموت، لو انهم يذبحوني يموتوني يفجروني بقذيفه ما بخافش. مو منه الحق ابوه ولا ظني بسوريا. مجيه كنها برايني ما زبطان كان انا بابتي بهون جنيني بهون بامو مساكا بامو هافين تونير بيبيري وكمبيسا يومي هاو مونا رازرا فتا هام كيرانكو وكسيغو وغريجيت جيري ركبرا كونا لوندونا نتالي هاغونا لينزي كتانو كان يموتو موتوت هاغونا لينبيس مونا هوغون غوغو هاكاجان فتا هاكافاتي نوتي زانجي أكاجن دفعت موبيلي وانجي أكافوغانغو غندو موتوتي غني بنار موتوتي غندا فانجي أكايبكرا وانو غني بانداس كوان هوريو أنا هون هاجي مكسر مراندا سموني تشا مراني تشيريت كاري ناتشي بنا كوزد مراني تشيريت أنا هون غني ما هو هازا نقول بارارسا تاني أماساس مش تاني ماذا كوان سماساس مش تاني ديرو كار نحن ماذا كل وقعنا أهون جس هوسة هاي جنبنا نيمي رام بيا بان نيمي رام بيا بان هو أمراس نحن جس ده هو وقنا هي س نيشان ده فوقنا هي ما أنا ببو كشاق جناجري ما أنا هروكوكا فت عنا على البيت طبعا لقيت الباب مفتوح مخلوع خلع وكان في برا حفره زتين كانوا قنبله فت يعني لقيت ابوي مدد واخوتي من وراه هيك لانه اول ما فاتوا طخوا عنا بالبيت كان ابوي هو فتح لنا الباب وقال لنا فيش عنا حدا فيش عنا مقاتلين قالوا له طيب روح كانوا صافين اخوتي على الحيط وامي قالوا له انت روح روح صف معهم وهو عم بعده عم بفتل بلشوا اطلاق النار طبعا الطلقات اجوا بظهره وقلب وبلشوا اطلاق النار 
على جميع اخوتي انا كنت يعني بس اثناء المجزره ب 82 كنت شاب وعم بكمل دراستي يعني ما كنت افكر اني اكره الناس او احقد على حدا بس هاي المجزره طبعا خلتني اعيد التفكير بكثير امور يعني خلتني افكر مين بحبني مين بكرهني مين يعني ليش صارت هالشغله حتى صرت افكر بابعد من هيك فهي خلت يعني عندي حب الكراهيه وحب الانتقام والطأر وهيك انا ما كنت اصلا الانسان ما مخلوق على هالشغلات هي بتصير مع الوقت او مع الاشياء اللي بتصير معه هو بتصير ان كان حب او كراهيه تقدر تسامحيني اذا انا قتلت بيك او خيك وما ق... ما في قانون حسبني ما وصلك حقك تقدر تسامحيني انت تسامحيني اذا انا قتلت خيك سامحيني او بيك او امك اكيد ما راح تسامحيني نهائيا ما راح اسامح ولو بدي اقول رقبتي ما راح اسامح هاد شي ارف اخاد بامسة كوفة ميلوين هوفالتي كوخ شلا يخيدا شلي يتفوس مخبل متبد بكفار بفاتي شخيم واخي شوفالتي تا كوخ היינו צריכים להוציא אותו וירינו על הקירות כדי שהוא ידע שאנחנו החזקים. ויצאה מן הבית אישה עם ילדה לידיים וילדה קטנה לידה. היה שלוש לפנות בוקר והילדה בבהלה רצה לקראתנו. פחדתי שהיא תתפוצץ עליי ועל החיילים. צעקתי לה לעצור בערבית, היא לא עצרה. יריתי כדור מעל הראש שלה והיא עצרה. ובאותו רגע נעצר גם משהו בי. וזה היה הרגע הקצר הארוך ביותר בחיי. הילדה נשארה בחיים, וגם אני נשארתי בחיים. אבל באותו רגע מת משהו בשנינו. בילד שיורים עליו משהו מת, אני לא יודע מה, אבל משהו מת. במבוגר שיורה על ילד. משהו מת, וכשמשהו מת, משהו חדש, משהו חדש חייב להיוולד. התחושה של הבושה שיריתי בה, התחושה של הכאב, ובעיקר התחושה של פרק האצבע המורה ביד ימין שלחצה על ההדק, ירדה על ילדה. אני חושב שזו נקודה שמשהו חדש התחיל להיוולד. One of the most impactful things that will occur after being in combat is the feeling of killing another human being. Once you've experienced it, you'll see that it's not like anything else that you've experienced before. And unfortunately, that feeling, your body will want to experience again. It's it's really difficult to try to explain to somebody, explain to somebody what that feeling's like. Um, right now, I still feel like experiencing that again, and it's probably why I keep a loaded weapon in my house. I yearn or desire for someone to try to, to hurt me or to break in or to give me an excuse to use that violence against somebody else again.
the 16th of January 2007, an Israeli border police shot and killed my 10 years old daughter, Abir, in front of her school in Anata, where I live. She was with her sister and two other friends, 9.30 in the morning. In her head, in the back, from a distance of 15 to 20 meters, by a rubber bullet. Abir wasn't a fighter. She was just a child. She don't know anything about the conflict, and she is not part of this conflict. Unfortunately, she lost her life because she's a Palestinian. I'm an Israeli who lost his uh, daughter to a suicide bombing on the 4th of uh, September 1997. And I'm uh, a product of uh, of an education system. These are two societies at war, and uh, they socialize the young generation to make them being able to sacrifice themselves when time comes. And this is uh, true to Palestinian society, and this is also true to Israeli society. Because we are human beings, sometimes you think, if I kill the killer, or anyone from the other side, from the Israelis, or maybe 10, this will give me back my daughter. No. I'll cause another pain and another victim to the others. I decide to broke this circle of violence and blood and revenge by stop killing and revenge and support revenge by myself. My definition of sides have changed dramatically. Today, on my side are all those who want peace and are willing to pay the price of peace, and the other side are those who do not want peace and are not willing to pay the price of peace. Many people told me that it's not your right to forgive in her name. And the answer, it's also not my right to revenge in her name. I hope she, she's satisfied. I hope she rests in peace. הסיפור הוא שנכנס קצין גרמני במדי אס אס לגטו ובליל גשום אחד אמא אומרת לו, קח את הילדה שלי והוא, אמא מספרת שהיא מרימה את גדר התיל ומוסרת את התינוקת שאני ילדה כאמור יהודייה בת שנתיים וחצי והיא בלב כואב מספרת שהיא מעבירה אותי לידיים של איש מופלא במדי אס אס היום אנחנו יודעים שאותו אדם, אלויזה פלבה, שירת בצבא הגרמני, כי זה היה, הוא חי בגבול גרמניה, אבל למעשה הוא לקח אותי למעיל שלו, הכניס אותי לתוך המעיל שלו כתינוקת, ומעביר אותי אל גבול גרמניה, פולין, לבית הוריו. והם מגדלים אותי, הוא מספר שאני בתו... הלא חוקית, והם מגדלים אותי, הופכים אותי לנוצרייה קתולית, הם מגדלים אותי עד סוף המלחמה. איזה מחווה, איזה מקסם, איזה יד מושטת, חוויה של ניצוצות של אור בתוך דברים שהם נקראים טירוף של אנושות. אם אני רוצה ומעלה בדעתי לשאול את עצמי, האם אני הייתי יכולה להיות? בתוך אחד המקומות האלה, ואולי הקשה ביותר, האם הייתי יכולה להיות במקום של אותו קצין גרמני? איך, איך, איך אנחנו יכולים בכלל לענות על השאלה הזאת? איך אפשר? אני לא מאמינה שהיה לי את כוחות הנפש האלה לעשות את זה. אם אני שואלת את עצמי את השאלה, אולי כן? איך הוא ידע שזה קרה לו? מי יודע שיש בתוכו, ואיך מתחברים אל אותו רגע אמת שאפשר להקריב? את, את עצמך, את חייך היחידים למען מישהו אחר. אולי שאלה ללא מענה, אולי שאלה שאחרים יוכלו לענות עליה, אבל זה כאילו מתבקש לשאול את זה.
el amor, <risa> el amor es el origen y es el fin. El amor es de donde venimos y a donde vamos y lo que pasamos en medio. El amor es todo. Amor. La palabra amor es muy significativa para mí. Porque cuando se habla de amor, lo abarca todo. Amor lo abarca todo, ¿verdad? Donde no hay amor no hay nada. Estamos vacíos. O me siento vacía. Amor. Porque el amor, el amor es que llena el alma. Creo que el amor es el día a día. Se vive todos los días. ¿Entiendes? Y el amor es, lo, es ese sentimiento que tú eres capaz de, como te expliqué, de transmitir y que te lo transmitan igual a ti. Mi esposa es una persona de un carácter fuerte, parece eh, el guía de la familia, pero la quiero mucho. <ríe> es magnífica. Si usted no tiene sexo, usted en el amor va fracasando. Oiga bien, porque a través del amor viene el sexo. Si usted no tiene sexo, usted va fracasando. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué dice esa mujer? Dice, no, pero ven acá. Este hombre me da amor, me da sexo, eh, me da amor, me da comida, me da ropa, me da todo. Pero no hay sexo. ¿Y qué voy a hacer yo? Este hombre ni furipa. ¿Qué va a hacer el hogar? El hogar se va a destruir. Porque después del amor es eso. Y eso, y por eso viene el amor. De lo contrario, mm, mm, no hay nada. Sí. <ríe> sí. Sí. <ríe> Ay, sí. Sí, señor. Hola, hola, hola. Así que me posé una cuestión. Así que es amorosa. Por bien, me diré, jamás, jamás. Je C'est-à-dire que j'allais aux fêtes, mais j'allais pas au bal, parce que, pour vous dire la vérité, jamais je suis dansé. J'ai eu essayé, mais ça marchait pas. Alors j'ai abandonné. Je pense que quand on épouse quelqu'un, on épouse quelqu'un tel qu'il est. Voilà, à l'instant T, on l'aime, il est comme ça. J'ai eu cet accident, euh, j'ai plus, plus de bras, plus de jambes. Elle n'a pas épousé un gars qui n'avait pas de bras et pas de jambes, quoi. Donc, euh, mais elle a tenu le choc pendant un, un certain paquet d'années, quoi, un certain nombre d'années. Et il y a eu ce qui arrive à tout le monde, on s'est séparés, quoi. Il y a eu un divorce, euh, et euh, il a fallu que je redémarre une nouvelle vie. Donc, euh, il a fallu trois ans pour que je guérisse de cette rupture, trois ans. Et au bout de trois ans, je me suis dit, mais tu vas pas rester tout seul. Donc, on vit dans une époque formidable, je me suis inscrit sur Internet, sur un site de rencontre. Et au début, j'avais mis que ma tête, que la photo de la tête. Le reste était dans la pochette surprise. <rire> pas de bras, pas de jambes, je ne l'avais pas montré. Et donc, euh, effectivement, je rigolais bien sur Internet. Et à partir du moment où j'ai annoncé mon handicap, il n'y avait plus personne derrière. Plus personne ne voulait me répondre. Alors, j'ai annoncé mon handicap. Et un jour, j'ai rencontré Susanna. Et voilà. L'amour aussi, c'est possible. L'amour aussi, ça fait huit ans qu'on est ensemble. Susanna avec ses trois filles, moi avec mes deux garçons. On a un chien borgne, quatre chats, un cochon d'Inde. Voilà, c'est une grande famille recomposée. Et... Ouais, tout est possible. L'amour a été là une nouvelle fois. Et on s'aime vraiment très, très fort. Nous, avec mon père, nous vivons ensemble 18 ans. Je n'ai jamais entendu la phrase « je t'aime ». Mais je le sens. Parce que parfois, c'est mieux de ne pas parler, mais de faire. Je pensais comment vivre longtemps ensemble. Mais comment ça Je ne vais pas me faire. Je pensais, jeune, comment je peux dormir dans une pastille 20 лет, это тоже очень скучно. Оказывается, нет, совсем нет. И с каждым днем, я думаю, я его как-то не так любила. Вот сейчас я его люблю так. А через год думаю, нет, я его еще лучше, я его еще больше люблю. И когда ложусь спать, смотрю на него и думаю, если его не будет, я не найду. Лучше. After being married for 50 years, 49, 51 years, but my wife took seriously ill. Um, 
just before we celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. And she suffered terribly for about two years as an invalid. For the last two years of her life, I was her nurse, I was her doctor, I was her friend, I was her lover, I was her husband. Um, everybody wanted me to get a nurse, full-time nurse, day and night nurse, and she begged me not to. She only wanted me to look after her. And I loved doing it for her, and I did it by myself. I carried her to the car, I carried her oxygen tank, I carried her wheelchair, I packed it in the car, I took it out, I pushed her around, I put it back, I took her home, I bathed her, I put her to bed, and I loved it that I was able to do it for her without anyone else, and she appreciated it. That's love. The magic moment that I had with my grandfather was right after my grandmother died, and I went to go see him, and I knew that he was hurting, but I wasn't sure what kind of state he would be in. And she was his partner 65 years, as well as his driver, and I went to see him and said, Grandpa, how are you doing? He said, did you know that for $4, I can get a shuttle anywhere in the city? I was like, wow, that's great, Grandpa. He said, well, I went to Savon, I went to the grocery store, and went to the woman behind the counter and said, I have this list of things, could you help me find them? My wife has recently changed her residence to heaven. And I said, Grandpa, man, you always help me see the glasses half full. And he leaned back and he looked me in the eyes and he said, it's a beautiful glass. Just the hour in the
yo me salí a los 12 años de la casa de mis abuelitos por maltrato. Entonces me fui a la calle, entonces dije, no, pues mejor sigo mi camino para que, pues, a ver si me pueden independizar yo misma. Lo que nunca podría perdonar fue, sería a mi madre, porque haberme vendido no fue una buena idea, porque somos sus hijos y le dolió tenernos. Y pues eso es lo que nunca yo perdonaría. Lo más difícil para mí, de, pues, de toda mi vida, la, el fallecimiento de mi papá. Porque pues... Este... Ay. Fue con el que me apoyaba mucho. El que, pues... No sacaba adelante a mis hermanos y a mí. Yo no le tengo miedo ya a nada. Porque viví muchas cosas feas y... Ya estoy acostumbrado, pero no le tengo casi miedo a nada. Me dicen, no, que te vamos a pegar, que te voy a matar. Les digo, no, no les tengo miedo. Y si ustedes lo hacen, no, no les voy a tener miedo, les dije. Sí, a mí, bueno, a mí mi papá me decía que a pesar de todo lo que... Todo, a pesar de todos mis, tro, mis tropiezos que tenga, siempre para arriba. O sea, si me caigo, volverme a levantar. Y así, si me caigo, levantarme y levantarme. Porque pues eso es lo que me ayuda a mí. Y pues si vivo en el pasado, pues siempre estaría llorando, siempre estaría de amargada, no amistosa, o sea, nada. Sino pues... No, sino ser juguetona y estar sonriendo. Porque si vivo en el pasado, pues de nada me sirve. Si no hay que vivir el presente. La familia para mí es este comunión. Es estar, llegar a tu casa y encontrar a alguien que te abrace y te diga, qué bueno que estás aquí. Ayudar a mis hermanos a hacer algo que ellos no pueden, que yo ya pude, por ser una, uno de los mayores. Enseñarle, ver a mi papá llegar del trabajo, satisfecho, sentado en su sillón, y pues poderle servir un café. Creo que me hace sentir bien. Algo que como que te llena por dentro. Y si te falta uno, te queda como que un hueco en, en el corazón, así como que, ah, diablos, ¿qué pasó? ¿Dónde está? Creo que la familia es algo feliz, notable. Es otra cosa. Te llena. Um, I think when I was young, I didn't think I was going to stay in um, the community of religious that I was had joined. And I suppose I didn't understand what I was actually doing and that I was maybe making a decision which meant that I wouldn't have children and I wouldn't have a family as other people had. I didn't think, I don't really think I understood that. But later in life, I had a sister who died um, of cancer. And when I saw her family, I realized that when I died, there wouldn't be anybody to mourn me in the same way. Sorry. It is, as time goes on, then you recognize that you are a parent to other people who you work with or 
who are friends or who are related to you in some way. So even though you haven't your own family, you have family. So I think that's important to me. Этот ребенок, которого я ждал, я сына ждал всю жизнь. То есть у меня были старшие девчонки, и я ждал помощника. И сейчас, и сейчас хочу еще также, чтобы был у меня ребенок помощник. Но у меня помощник в том, что он мне подсказывает, он мне молчит, он смотрит на меня. Когда мы с ним что-то делаем, где-нибудь строгаем, стучим, я ему объясняем и, и проговариваю. Есть такая притча. Когда Господь сидел и распределял, кому, какого ребенка, в какую семью отправить ангелов сидят и говорят, Господи, почему ты этого тяжелого ребенка даешь такую семью? Им, им, им так хорошо, они живут счастливо. Зачем им это? Там он говорит, это не для того, чтобы они могли. Ему донести, что есть я. Листочек на дереве, ветер. И я постоянно проговариваю ему. Я проговариваю его об этом. Я ему говорю, Алеш, это, это, это листик. Это радость. Мы с ним выходим ночью. Я ему объясняю, что такое звезды. Я говорю, я говорю звезды. А он, он видит это и смотрит на меня взрослыми глазами, не по возрасту. Еще не такое, что дух, который в нем живет, он намного сильнее меня. И он меня ведет. Ведет меня, нашу семью, детей. И поэтому я только сейчас начинаю понимать, что такое любовь. Изначально любовь к себе. Потому что для того, чтобы жить вместе, Надо любить себя, любить себя, любить свою жену, любить своих детей, в том числе старших, любить своих родственников, родителей, родителей моей живы, любить людей, любить людей по, по сути. А суть одна. Тут только любовь может спасти этот мир. Har rage, har jai hu Andar buti Mushk machaya Pate jaan phulan te aai hu Murshad vekh na raja hu Loon loon de vich Lak 
लख लख चश्मो लूलू दे लख लख चश्मा एक खोला एक कज्जा Oh no, io non avrei mai pensato e, e non mi sarebbe mai piaciuto essere un uomo. Perché la vita di un uomo è una vita facile. Troppo. E le vite facili ti portano alla noia. È facile raggiungere gli obiettivi professionali. È forse anche più facile raggiungere la preda sentimentale. Per noi donne è tutto più difficile. Però eh, con la difficoltà c'è anche il fascino di arrivare alla meta con difficoltà. E quindi preferisco eh, senza dubbio essere donna. Eso es una eso es eso es impotencia lo que siento cuando alguien mm, piensa yo eh, es más llega alguien a, a alguna mujer más bajita al kiosco y hay algo alto y me dice, "Ay, a ver si viene un hombre y lo coge." Cago un día un hombre va a venir, pega un puño y pega un salto. Teniendo yo dos manos, a mí me va a hacer falta un hombre. Cago en el escopetín. Me da mucho coraje, me da mucha rabia. Esa es mi... No me gusta que... No me gusta que las mujeres... No quiero, no me siento bien cuando intentan discriminarme por ser mujer. Ahora me siento libre. Porque puedo hacer diferentes cosas sin medir el tiempo. Además, estoy divorciada. Perdón. Disculpe. Yo creo que eso no es relevante, ¿no? Perdón. ¿Quiere que lo haga otra vez? ¿Está bien? Yo sé que no es para sonreír esto, pero, pero me siento bien ahora. Me siento libre. 
Mon mari a deux femmes. Il est polygamie. Il a deux femmes. Ouais, ici au Sénégal, tu vois, la polygamie, il y a des gens qui ont quatre femmes, il y a des gens qui ont trois femmes, il y a qui ont deux femmes, mais il y a qui ont que, que une seule femme. C'est le choix. Mais même il y en a qui ont six, sept, huit, neuf, jusqu'à dix ans. Mais moi, mon mari a deux femmes. Deux femmes, je suis la première et l'autre est la deuxième. Et vraiment, nous vivons paisément. C'est mon ami. Cette dame-là, vraiment, il m'aime. Elle m'aime et moi aussi, je l'aime. Heureusement que chez nous, la polygamie chez les femmes, ce n'est pas possible. Parce que, j'ai dit heureusement pourquoi Parce que si ma femme devrait en aimer un autre plus moi, je suis sûr que ça n'allait pas être évident. Ça allait être très compliqué parce que moi, je suis extrêmement jaloux. Extrêmement jaloux. Je ne pourrais pas supporter que ma femme passe la nuit dans les bras d'un autre monsieur et puis le lendemain revenir passer une autre nuit avec moi. Je ne supporterai jamais ça. C'est pour ça que je dis que heureusement que la polygamie chez les femmes n'est pas possible ici au Burkina, quoi. Parce que, ma foi, je ne m'imagine pas. Quand j'ai went and stayed with my, with my, with my wife at her house in San Francisco, she's not my wife, but the one I'm on with, the woman I'm with, she, this was about a week after we started dating. And I woke up in the morning, but I said, so, you know, I ask this of you and this of you and this of you. And, you know, you're hesitating. But, like, the woman I'm with can't have a, a list of no's. Like, it's got to be pretty much all yeses or we don't have a relationship. I mean, that's just where I'm at. And it took her about a month after I pointed that out to her to realize that these no's could not exist. And so that's how... Very little shitty my woman is. She's, she's freaking very unique, very amazing. She gives me, like, she was raised to, like, adore her man. Like, old school Mexican. Like, know when to speak up. And that doesn't mean you can't tell me something. That doesn't mean you can't share. That doesn't mean I don't want guidance. But in my household, the man is the man of the house. Okay. À la maison, les week-ends, c'est moi qui fais la cuisine. Et un jour, un ami est venu me voir en train de faire la cuisine. Et il m'a demandé que, mais écoute, Asen, c'est toi qui fais la cuisine J'ai dit oui. Que, mais et ta femme, elle est malade J'ai dit non, elle n'est pas malade. J'ai dit, mais elle se repose. Que tu laisses ta femme faire la cuisine et tu, tu fais la cuisine pendant que ta femme se repose dedans. J'ai dit oui, mais elle a, elle a besoin du chemin de repos. Et il m'a dit ce jour-là, ma femme ne viendra jamais te rendre visite. Pas tout simplement parce que tu vas lui mettre des idées à la, dans, dans la tête. Et quand elle va revenir à la maison, je lui dis de faire la cuisine moi aussi. Et je lui ai dit, non, il, dit, mais il faut, faut que tu comprennes parce qu'en en fait, elles ont besoin de ce repos-là. Moi, en tout cas, ça me fait plaisir souvent lorsque je fais la cuisine pour toute la famille. Bibangomga kona na reka na hagala rakui da koko no baganza zeshu wa cha ne mnyaka kamish baanza kure runga na gukora buri chime cho senga mukosa ngasura mishuri ngombani wenu bitari hafi anje da forta ero binge de chira kuri anda fungo. Ishiru chine jeju mose nuko nuko mbako ejo ejo nzara jizwe alamja yenga ta. Mungu kumeza mashuri ya nje, ndete ni wimbi. Hari makazi, nga wa mama umunga analunata se, mbese nga ananje nga wa umunu nga wambi. There is a way out of being abused. For me it was tough because I used to have the worst abuse. I would have a gun put to my head and get told to go on my knees and beg for my, my life. Um, and I would do it just, my kids used to be watching. Or I get put out, out of the house, I get kicked out of the house and have to sleep outside on the steps. And if I moved from there, I would get a hiding the next day. It was tough because I thought it was me. I was the one that was doing something wrong in our marriage. Um, you know, when I started talking about my kids, those were the most important thing of my life. And I thought, if I don't move on out of here, I'm either going to be dead or my kids are going to be dead. So I need to move on. I need to do something. 
And I went home that day and I said to him, I'm leaving. Um, and I think Mark got a bit of a shock because he didn't realize that I was leaving. And he said, no, you'll never leave me. You've never, you will never leave me. You love me too much. And I said, well, you know what? That's what love is about, leaving. And I gave him two choices, and I only gave him two choices. I said to him, you either go for counseling or I leave. And you know what? Today he's a better man. He's never lifted a hand up for me ever since the day. That's about nine years ago. So nine years ago, I was still an abused woman. So. I am gay, and I've known, I've liked girls ever since I was a little girl. And I kept it a secret from my family. And my dad, I remember when Ellen DeGeneres came out, it was the first time I ever heard of the word gay before. And my parents were talking about it. And I asked my dad, Dad, what is gay? And he goes, it's a girl who likes another girl and they're going to hell. And so I said, OK. And I walked straight up to my room, closed the door very quietly, and then I bawled my eyes out into my pillow. And I prayed to God every day to please let me like boys. Please make me straight, because I knew I liked girls. And so I tried. I tried pretending I liked boys and stuff, but I never did. And then I met, to me, the love of my life. And her name was Jen. and. Gosh, it was just like my world changed. And I didn't really care about anything else. I just knew I wanted to be near her. And that was love to me. Mm. Yeah, being a lesbian is not a choice, man. 
something that is inside you and that is that no one can can help or it's not curable or it's not a disease actually because they always say we sick they the, our families even take us to the doctors to the sangomas but ah you just stay there i even had to force myself with guys to get my granny's approval and it hurts because I had to do stuff that I don't know, I really, really didn't want to do. Even though I did that, I even asked a friend of mine who is a dude to pretend as if he's my boyfriend. But that guy, what he did, he forced himself to me and then he left me with HIV. And that was in 2003. I did all that just to get my granny's approval. But now, I know that I don't have to do anything to please someone else. Mes parents, ils avaient, mes parents, ils avaient tellement peur que je reste homosexuel que quand je leur dis que je changeais, ils s'y ont vraiment cru. Et euh, même si mes parents ils me posaient des questions tous les jours, ils me demandaient, c'est bon, t'as changé C'est bon Et comme le sexe, c'est pas possible de changer, je fais comme si j'ignorais la question, je me prends pas la tête. Et au bout d'un moment, mon père, euh, il n'en pouvait plus. Donc euh, il s'est mis à m'engueuler, à me crier dessus, à me frapper et à me dire, euh, à me dire je sais que t'as pas changé, je sais que t'es toujours comme ça. Et à me dire, si, si tu te fous de ma gueule, moi je vais te, te faire vivre un enfer et tu dois partir maintenant si, si vraiment t'es comme t'es. Alors je suis parti. J'ai pas été une seconde, je suis parti. I have a son who's now 31 years old, um, who I love very much. Uh, he's gay, a gay man, and the day that he came out was quite significant. Um, I knew that he was struggling with something. He'd been suicidal, and he was 18 years old. And he said to me one day, Dad, I've got to tell you something. And I said, OK, son, uh, tell me, what is it? And he's, he, went, he went pale. His re he really went white, and he said, oh, I feel sick. And my heart really went out to him. And at that moment, I kind of knew that he was going to tell me he was gay. Although I hadn't made that connection, um, because he's quite masculine in his, in his traits. Um, but just at that moment, I had a sense that that's what he was going to tell me. So I said to him, son, let me guess. Let me make it easier for you, I'll guess. And he said, yeah, OK. And I said, you're going to tell me you're gay, aren't you? And he, he went, yes, I am. And, um, and I, I, just, I just really, really felt for him because it was such a struggle for him to tell me that. And everything sort of made sense because he didn't want to be gay and that's why he'd been suicidal. And so I just gave him a big hug and said, I love you anyway, son. It doesn't make any difference to how much I love you. And I, I think that our, our relationship has really been a lot stronger since then. Um, so that's been a journey in itself. C'était en 2009, un ami homosexuel comme moi. Et lorsque ce dernier là est décédé, on l'a enterré dans le, le cimetière de son village. Mais l'imam de, de ce quartier, et il a rassemblé les gens de la quartier, des jeunes du quartier. Ils sont partis au cimetière pour déterrer ce corps, enlever, attacher et traîné comme ça dans la rue. Et les médias, il y avait certains médias qui étaient là qui fumaient ça. Et la police est venue. Après, la famille a récupéré le corps encore, allé enterrer le corps. Ils sont partis encore déterrer. On l'a déterré trois fois. Et finalement, on a enterré le corps dans la cour de son père. Parce qu'on dit que la religion musulmane dit quand on est homosexuel, si tu meurs, on n'a pas le droit de prier de ton corps, on n'a pas le droit de t'enterrer dans le cimetière musulman. C'est ça qu'il disait. I'm a gay man from Lebanon, and it's I have, we have no rights over there, and we have no rights in the Arab world in general over there. And I think what I can do more is what I've started to do is, I think I should come out even more. Um, <laughs> 
I am out to my parents, I am out to my friends, I am out to my work. But I think I want to encourage other people like me, um, which have nothing to lose. Because I have a salary, because my mom, it's proven with time, it took a time, but she's gonna love me anyway now. She knows, she knows my boyfriend, she loves me for the way I am, my dad as well, my friends as well. Um, I think if you don't tell anyone, um, the other moms won't know that it's okay to be gay. People should be less shy, people should be more daring when you have nothing to lose. Because some people have a lot to lose and those are not the people that should do the change. But the ones that have nothing to lose. In, in Iraq, one of my friends was hit with a car bomb in front of me, and I chased after the trigger man with my, uh, with my squad, with one of my teams. And we were just, we wanted to kill that guy, because I can hear my buddy screaming, you know, he was hurt. And so we're running as fast as we can, and we're just, just full of hate and fury, and we just want to do whatever we can to just, you know, he hurt our friend, we're going to get him back. And we're just running, sprinting as fast as we can with all that weight, just sweat pouring off of us. 
uh, through orange fields, and then we get to a clearing, and um, yeah, it hit me. I mean, this blue sky. It was an old man in a white robe and a child just tilling a field, you know, and that just bring me back to reality. I'm like, what am I doing, you know? I'm a human being. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not some instrument of, what, revenge, I guess? I don't know. I mean, it's just like you stop and you're like, just people doing people things here where I'm supposed to, you know, where, where all this violence is happening and you stop and you're like, um, I don't know, makes you human again, you know? Eu mesmo amanheço o dia e digo, já no meu roçado, buscar meu colo de feijão e minhas espigas de mim para mim comer. Aí, gão roçado, quando eu cheguei, é feijão, maduro, é seco, é meio, eu, a alegria. A gente fica, parece que fica, aquilo, a alegria é tão grande que a gente chega no roçado, chega a dar vontade da gente ficar ali em pé, que é bonito. Um roçado de milho e um roçado de feijão é bonito, mas cada vez a gente fica mais corajosa. Aonan, menem nazar lene ilenyem. Aon tenish marat yalech, esolay godere menem bazafay kofre balalo. Ene wandim baka ene bal malet su aon kray li sarto bir tenishim biagen lamata edwal. Menem nazar enega ilenyem. Baka betus yalechu and doro bichanat yalech, beso unkulal katalech, usije shije, beso chao menem bet yalon amatiche balechi adirallo. Oui, eh bien, ça fait, ça fait moi-même Joseph, estima Joseph, me dit, la vie me finit, dans le pays, peut-être, et la vie pas tombé, pour que tu te en un en bas, pour que tu aies pour vivre, à madame, moi, petit tout. Alors, et, bon, moi, pas de bois, dans la région encore. Pour tout comme ça, ou à prendre, ou à le faire, ou à faire un petit chou bois pour racher, pour faire un sac de chabon. Ou que doit faire journée là, des jours, ou pas jouer, ou pas gagner pour manger, pour bâtir des gens qui ont créé un pied. Et ou pas jouer un monde paraître pour dire, ben mon cher, mais ça pour, qu'est-ce que ça pour, pédo dans le pays. Déjà, c'est coucher tout le monde, coucher pour nous mourir, parce que la vie, ça te l'a vie finir. Ou pas coucher là, ou pas tout là, ou pas gagner pour bâtir des gens. Ou pas gagner pour bâtir, ou pas gagner pour bâtir des gens dans le bâtir. Eh bien, ou pas tout coucher au mouet. Et ça, c'est la vie finie. Déjà, la vie finie, déjà. Ah, ou pas gagner pour pouvoir. Oui. Oui, la vie finie net. Oui. Si itu sih pelikin aja. Dua skala baru panas selesai pada lah satu ratus rupiah dua ribu orang malah satu ratus satu ratus rupiah panas selagi lah. Panas selagi lah, nama kita kaya kerana zaman dah dah kerjiti bedan sudah dah lah. Panas lah itu kerana sekarang zaman kala jahat dah lah bedan. Tiada dah lah, thoda batas. Mungkin zaman gel sali kaya kard lu terata. Tiada zaman pun gel lah, nanti ni kaya mungkin tu seti bi atap pet lah. Mungkin asa tak kuni kerja dia asa kaya kerana asa. Panas itu kerja lah sana. हीरी एक सुधा होती थी पन आटली पानी से नहीं आसमान कर्ज़दर फिटाए जा कसा मनों तेरी अपने दूसरे का This year I was covering a very severe drought in Western Maharashtra, in this country. And on the one hand, I was looking at people, you know, facing destitution due to a water crisis. On the other hand, I was looking at multi-storied buildings coming up with a swimming pool on every floor. We're not talking about buildings with three floors or four floors. There is a plan for two twin towers in Mumbai, even now under construction, 37 floors each, which means there are 74 swimming pools. It's a twin tower. And then I went and looked at who
who are the people doing the construction? Who are these laborers? All the laborers were landless laborers and marginal farmers who had left their villages as refugees of the water crisis, and they're in the cities building our swimming pools. The sheer humiliation of it, the sheer injustice of it. I think the fastest growing sector in India is not software or IT, it is inequality. So yeah, it makes me furious. It is completely unacceptable to me to see how closely the affluence of the few is tied to the misery of the many. That's unacceptable.
जब जब पाकिस्तान से मैं निकला था तो जैसे जो हालात थे वहाँ पे कि स्पेशली मेरी वाइफ को भी पता था कि जैसे हमारे हालात हैं उधर मैं अपने बच्चों को सपोर्ट नहीं कर सकता था अच्छी तलीम सेहत नहीं दे सकता था उसकी कुर्बानी है मेरे लिए मेरी फैमिली के लिए मेरी भी कुर्बानी है मेरी फैमिली की भी कुर्बानी है कि उन्हें मुझे इजाज़त दी कि मैं बाहर जाके कुछ ऐसा कर सकूँ कि कम अज़ कम अपने बच्चों को तालीम दे सकूँ अच्छी सेहत दे सकूँ और उनकी वो तमाम बुनियादी ज़रूरियात को पूरा कर सकूँ और जिस दिन मैं पाकिस्तान से निकला था वो दिन नहीं बोलता मेरे दोस्त थे मेरे साथ कुछ मेन गेट से मेरी अम्मी आई हैं बाहर निकली हैं उन्होंने मेरा बेटा उठाया था वो गोद में तो मैं जब गाड़ी में बैठा हुआ था तो मेरा बेटा उन्होंने मेरी गोद में ला रखा था मुझे बोला था कि इसको देख ले पता नहीं कब नेक्स्ट टाइम तू उसे देखेगा तो वो मुझे नहीं बोलेगा कभी भी वो मेरा बच्चा मेरी आंखों में अभी तक मुझे वो नज़र आ रहा है ऐसे लाना तरफ सुधा नशन हुकूम मार रहा है ना वो कत्तर उसर कुल्लो ना नज़ात हो कुन्ना ना हत्तबरो माइटी ना ने और ना नज़ा नज़ात गए तो बस अल महम अंकज़ ने बस इंदिर को आने रब्बना बस अदाने तूर अल उम्र बस वसलता है ना फिर फ़रांसाद वल्लाह ना हम्दुलिल्लाह बिबलत ना है मज़रा ज़िराद बक्फीना وندر بهاي ما شاء الله ما ما يعني اندر بهاي ما شاء الله يعني ما هنا ما نقصينا ما ناقصين في او او قروش ما ناقصين في ان 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 اكل والحمد لله نحن مرتاحين بنزر ابناكم لكن الحكومه ما رايحه الحكومه وانا قدامي كده اختصب اخواتي قدامنا لما مر لما جات مره ذات قام جلدا وقام اختصب مرتي قدامنا وانا بكون حي أنا أقدر أقول كيف في البلد زيدا. When I was in the boat, I I was very scared because I don't see nothing absolutely, only a water. And the boat also is not a quality boat. We are 110 people inside the boat. I'm nobody comfortable because no food to eat, no water to drink. Yeah, you are sitting in that fuel. You know, destroy all my body. Things was hard for me. So when I when I see the Italian, they come and rescue us. Yeah, I thank God. Yeah, I know that now I'm safe. Nyom ta minne karen se dug, na ta fi bufili ge amon. Nyom, filani des, bufili ge mo fe amon. Anga igis kereglamo nirche di te da ko juk. Bufili ge amon fi bode mulge doy def. Ma def dara, lolo wara nyu bari dem jayen de desi gigi. Kaman jaral nama man hamna ni man yang ada man. Ulu Espany di Itali, mem khasna aku budun budal. Tafu bawa aku sama darat dem rak. Jar tiga le dem, diu koi dem, diu ayi dem dem rak. Now I am living in jungle of Kali. The police come and they disturb us and they said you have to leave the jungle. I said. We I I have to go. We I have to go. Show me the place. We want to go to that. He said you have to go back to your country. I said where is my country? I don't have a country, man. It's a killing ground. It's a ground of killing the the people. It's a ground of of, of fighting. It is not a country. It's a Afghanistan. It's not a country now. It's a killing ground, man. Thirty-seven countries come to control that country. But they cannot control these people. The union cannot control these people. How can I? You you have to send me back to that country, and they kid. They, I lost my family in that country. How can I go to that country back? I was refugee in Pakistan. I was refugee in Iran. I was refugee in uh, Dubai. I was refugee in and uh, the Turkey. I was refugee in Bulgaria. I was refugee in European country in Greece. And I now I'm I'm a refugee in France, but let me to live, man. I don't want anything from you. I don't want anything from you. I don't from want any anything from you. I don't need the help, but let let me to live. 
Neuf à Bigon, ne gonflaine italien. Alhamdilla, netaro ebe en choco chocoton. Ibe en canyero et en ne gontolo. Mais Bigon, alhamdilla, ne gonflaine italien. Alicini, beg rauro cojoro. Seba nirononi, balmoni, singi mumbe. Alicini ne beca au bella jalene joro. Ocon gane de men doe. Nina en yesoro. Mega fein aude, mega fein fasode. Ni en fin soro yara biama alang hakili bola jen fra la haraka. Angan yon de men doe alibi. Se konten folo me angan yon de men doe. Be bela jelen won fo. আমি একজন বাংলাদেশী মানে গার্মেন্টস কর্মী হিসাবে যেটা আমার কাছে সবচেয়ে মানে অগ্রহণযোগ্য সেটা হলো যে যখন আমাদের কোম্পানির ওনার বা আমাদের মার্কেটিং সাইটে যারা আছে তারা যখন বাইরের সাথে প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশনে বসে একটা কোনো বিষয় নিয়ে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে যখন দেখা যায় যে অন্যান্য দেশে যখন তারা প্রাইস নেগোসিয়েশন করে বাংলাদেশের সময় সব সময় চিন্তা করে যে প্রাইসটা একটু স্লো হবে যদি বাইরে এটা চিন্তা করে এইভাবে যে আসলে কোয়ালিটি ফুল গার্মেন্ট কোয়ালিটিফুল গার্মেন্ট যদি বাংলাদেশ থেকে যায় তাহলে ন্যায্য মূল্য কেন আমি দিব না তাহলে তো আমরা সবসময় অবহেলিতই হচ্ছি ঠিক না তো এটা তো এটার জন্য তো ওয়ার্ল্ডই দায়ী এটার জন্য তো বেসিক্যালি কেউ এককভাবে দায়ী না 
কেন এটার জন্য যার সাথে আমার যে ফাইনাল কাস্টমার সেই আমাকে ঠকাচ্ছে তা আমি কি করতে পারি বাট ক্যান হোয়াট উই ক্যান হাউ উই বি হ্যাপি হাউ然后我们厂里面的规矩是很多的上班不准聊天上班不准接电话还有上厕上厕所的话也要要上面领导要跟领导说可以去才可以去只有一个人可以去两个人就不可以去每去每去还有那个产量很高哦他每个小时规定的产
moi-même, moi, moi c'est un pauvre. Je définis la pauvreté maintenant. Qui ça pour moi une pauvreté? C'est le besoin à l'école. Je vais à l'école. Je vais besoin de manger. Je vais à manger. Je vais besoin de dormir. Je vais à dormir. Petit, moi, madame, moi, tout a souffert. Là, je vais gagner un niveau intellectuel qui est avancé pour me sortir de la situation. Mia. Ni mon moi. Yo. Là, je me sens vraiment pauvre. Quand physique pauvre, mental la pauvre. Et vous même riche qui attendez vous. Qui ça que nous voulons parler des riches là? So I I know that that I'm less happy with more money, and I know that I still want more. I like things and I, I pursue the things, but the things only make me happy for a short period of time. And and uh And then I go back and I have the challenges of my family and I, and I don't know how to, to make a depressed person happy. You can't, you can't give them a thing and make them happy because their brain is not happy. So I, I feel frustrated that the, the, the cures don't exist and I can't just wave a magic wand and make my son better Eu morava num lugar aonde era cercado de mansões e eu morava em barraco e eu sabia que aquelas pessoas às vezes jogava comida fora no lixo e a gente eu principalmente com fome querendo um pouco de comida para comer Para mim, a pobreza me entristece, mas me entristece por causa da injustiça. Porque se todo mundo tivesse alimento, pelo menos alimento, em casa, ela podia raciocinar. Raciocínio é inteligência. Então, poderia ser pobre em casa, de morar em barraco, mas teria a inteligência na cabeça para poder sair dali. Eu, graças a Deus, eu consegui vencer isso. Mas e quantos outros não conseguem? E muitos até morrem por isso. Isso é muito triste. Para mim, é injustiça pura. La rue é uma escola très dura. Uh... La pauvreté est un état dans lequel je suis actuellement, mais à force de le vivre quotidiennement, non pas on s'y complaît, mais on s'y habitue, tout simplement. La pauvreté est un état, mais... C'est un état... qui dure. Et pour beaucoup. Pour beaucoup trop. What the hell I'm doing here? Why can't you build, build every child? Y'all build your why I'm see what the hell going on. Let's switch for a minute. <laughs> Let's switch. You come here, be me, and I go there and be you. Then when we meet up in this midland or the equator, then we'll play out there, uh-uh. <laughs>
pero no ahora por ser presidente. Esto lo pensamos mucho, pasamos más de 10 años de soledad en el calabozo. Y tuvimos tiempo, tuvimos siete años sin leer un libro. Y tuvimos mucho tiempo para pensar. Y descubrimos esto. O logras ser feliz con poco y liviano de equipaje, porque la felicidad está dentro tuyo, o no logras nada. Esto no es una apología de la pobreza, esto es una apología de la sobriedad. Y, pero como hemos inventado una sociedad de consumo, consumista, y la economía tiene que crecer, porque si no crece es una tragedia, inventamos una montaña de consumo superfluo, y hay que tirar y, y vivir comprando y tirando, y lo que estamos gastando es tiempo de vida. Porque cuando yo compro algo, o tú, no lo compras con plata, lo compras con el tiempo de vida que tuviste que gastar para tener esa plata. Pero con esta diferencia, la única cosa que no se puede comprar es la vida. La vida se gasta. Y es miserable gastar la vida para perder libertad.
दुनिया भी नीलट में यो जमजी गला आरम को जापल में फी मैं जापू फे सिंको डे फे दुनू सोनू ते ये में फी Matiye fe, nyun bun ko de fe, dunu sona. De meji lu ya fe lo lo. Why I can't believe? Ya pal ma fe ma ya pu fe, sin ko de fe, i dunu sona. Betul pilih mana, mampu lah. Betul pilih kasih lah. Cuma kalau mula ni pani, cuma mula ni pani mula lebih ni doa. Cuma cuma mula ni pahon ni. Sapa lima tak terkeli ba? Mata terkeli ni no, i ni no buca, ni no ye ni tni. Let her go to the atomic chum chum missing on Nandy Green. Mum chum on it. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, you can. Hey, you want to go in? Oh, wow, she had a bear. Oh, brown ball was a bear. Quand on va à terre, on va au ciel, on prend pas le bon chemin. Alors, je ne pense pas qu'il y ait une avion pris la mort, moi. Je n'y crois pas du tout à ça. Quand je pense à ma grand-mère, que j'aimais énormément et qui est morte depuis longtemps maintenant, je me dis, le souvenir s'efface à toute vitesse. L'image devient floue. Quelquefois, même le son de la voix disparaît. Qu'est-ce qu'on laisse Qu'est-ce qui reste J'ai peur de ça. C'est une peur qui est totalement irrationnelle, euh, qui, qui repose sur, sur quelque chose de, de complètement archaïque, de complètement tribal, je pense, parce que ça me, ça me remue euh, terriblement. Et euh, je ne crois pas que ce soit quelque chose qui soit de l'ordre de... de l'orgueil ou, ou quelque chose comme ça. Euh, c'est autre chose. Ça rejoint un peu le, le sens de, le, de la vie. Qu'est-ce qu'on a fait là qu qu pourquoi, pourquoi je suis là euh, Je ne sais pas. Je ne sais pas. Qu'est-ce que je laisse J'aimerais laisser quelque chose, oui. J'aimerais laisser une trace. Une trace. Y el sentido de la vida, quizá me veo, no sé si es por una cuestión de que me veo, no me siento muy importante, no creo que seamos tan importantes, entonces no le veo, no veo la vida como algo. La vida se lleva. Todos estuvieron, todos están y todos vamos a dejar de estar. पैदा भल बन तो हम जिंदा ये लिए बनी कि हमरे जर से एक दो बच्चा आवर हुए हैं उनको बढ़िया तरह से जिंदगी का परवस्ती हम बचपन से ये बरत तक ले कर दे तो जब हम बुजुर्ग हो जाए तो हमार परवस्तन वो कर दिलो। मेरी सबसे बड़ी पीड़ा है ये 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 de ne de, de pas savoir euh, qu'est-ce que je fais là, à quoi ça sert, euh, si ça a un sens, de, de ne servir à rien, de, de vraiment ne servir à rien. Moi, homme parmi les hommes, 
j'ai l'impression que il y a une, une dynamique universelle et si j'en fais pas partie, ça va me briser. J'ai envie, j'ai envie de faire partie de l'histoire de l'humanité. Me being 15 with a life sentence, what can be the meaning of my life? That is a hard question, but I think the meaning of my life could be, you know, happiness, making everything right, helping out young and older people, you know, just help one another, you know, and stand for something. And just stay out of trouble, don't come to prison. I know that ain't no meaning in life. This ain't no place for nobody, but I don't know. Everybody had their own purpose, so I don't know what my purpose is. And I don't really, I don't know about that question. <laughs> Às vezes eu penso uma, uma frase que eu escutei quando era muito garoto, assim, de um amigo falando, poxa, é, a vida é, é como carregar uma mensagem da criança que você foi um dia para o velho que você vai ser amanhã. E tentar não deixar essa mensagem se perder, se desfazer. Muitas vezes eu me pego perguntando isso, porque... Quando eu era criança, eu pensava tantas coisas bonitas, assim, tão lindas. Nossa, eu quero um mundo sem mendigos, todo mundo feliz. E aí, coisas tão simples, assim, tão sutis, mas a gente perde isso, né? A vida faz a gente perder. Daqui a pouco a gente tá só trabalhando para poder comprar coisas e, e tá nem aí pro mendigo, nem olha, não ajuda ninguém. Aí você fala, cara, cadê aquela mensagem da criança, né? Talvez a vida, o sentido da vida seja, seja não deixar essa mensagem da criança, sei lá, desaparecer. Ici, não tem isso. Ici, não tem isso, 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 não tem isso. Na, na sala oyo nzambe atina nga na sala na mukili. Paske na mukili mutu mutu azwa na misyon na yon zamba tindela yi. Nga pe na zamba mukili po na misyon na nga yi me nzambe nda yebi. Nga na yebi yon ante.
তাই তোমাদের আমি বলছি মা আমার আমার দিকে তোমরা তাকায় তাহলে ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দিও তোমাদের আমি অনেকবার বলেছি আজকেও বলছি তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও ড্রাগ নাও ভালো না মানুষের শরীরে অনেক ক্ষতি হয় তুমি যদি আমাকে মনে করো যে আমি তোমার মেয়ে তাহলে তুমি ড্রাগটা ছেড়ে দাও En fait, j'ai un, un cadet, j'ai un petit frère qui, qui est mort, effectivement. Donc, il a laissé une petite fille de 4 ans. Et ça, là, malheureusement, encore la maman de, sa fille, de cette fille encore est morte. Donc, j'aimerais dire à ce frère-là qu'il qu ne se fait pas de soucis pour cet enfant. Parce que je connaissais l'amour de ce, de ce frère-là par rapport à sa fille. Qu'il sache que cet enfant est en, est en des bonnes mains, que je m'occupe très bien de lui. ดิฉันเป็นผู้หญิงกลางคืนก็อยากส่งข้อความให้คุณพ่อคุณแม่ว่าตอนนี้ไม่ต้องเป็นห่วงแล้วนะคะสบายใจได้เลยตอนนี้หนูทําหน้าที่ของเต็มที่แล้วดูแลน้องได้รักษาน้องได้ให้น้องอยู่บ้านส่งน้องเรียนจะสัญญาว่าจะส่งให้น้องเรียนจนจบไม่ให้น้องลําบากแล้วถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนต่อให้กันจบสูงๆเพราะว่าหนูก็ดีใจที่ว่าน้องได้เรียนจบสูงเพราะหนูไม่มีโอกาสได้เรียนถ้ายังไงก็ถ้าน้องจบออกมาก็จะให้เรียนจบให้ได้มากที่สุดจนเอาแบบว่าจนคิดว่าหนูไม่มีปัญญาส่งน้องเรียนจบแล้วก็แค่นั้นค่ะฟาฟิชเชนอาบิอากุลฮัมลักฮัมแอนด์ดอนฟอร์เกตฮูยูอาร์แอนด์ออลเวสสมิลเพราะสมิลลิงคือทุกอย่างที่ทุกคนรู้จักฟาฟิชเชนอาบิอากุลฮัมลักฮัมแอนด์ออลเวสสมิลเพราะสมิลลิงคือทุกอย่างที่ทุกคนรู้จักฟาฟิชเชนอาบิอากุลฮัมลักฮัมแอนด์ออลเวสสมิลเพราะสมิลลิงคือทุกอย่างที่ทุกคนรู้จักฟาฟิชเชนอาบิอากุลฮัมลักฮัมแอนด์ออลเวสสมิลเพราะสมิลลิงคือทุกอย่างที่ทุกคนรู้จักฟาฟิชเชนอาบิอากุลฮัมลักฮัมแอนด์ออลเวสสมิลเพราะสมิลลิงคือทุกอย่างที่ทุกคนรู้จักฟาฟิชเชนอาบิอากุลฮัมลักฮัมแอนด์ออลเวสสมิลเพราะสมิลลิงคือทุกอย่างที่ทุกคนรู้จักฟาฟิชเชน